Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the musician Jonathan Reichert channel. There's been some talk about uh, what size pick is best for you to play with. And I'm sure that's different for everyone, but I just wanted to uh, maybe share kind of my theory on why the thicker pick is better for the, for the picking stuff, for the faster picking. And that's mostly specific to what I'm talking about, but I play with a uh, two millimeter pick, 1.5 to 2 millimeter pick for everything because I just learned to adjust to it even for really light acoustic strumming stuff. I just learned to keep the pick nice and loose uh, when I need it. But anyway, here is my theory on why the thick pick is better for picking fast. I'm gonna have a, uh, a pen and a glue stick and the glue stick is also just supposed to represent a floppy uh, pen. Okay, so this is the thick pick and this is the uh, you know 0.60 or 0.88 pick so uh, if you're trying flight of the bumblebee or something uh, that would be a good example for this so my theory is that when if I was gonna go write something like a thought let's say I'm playing music and I'm gonna play something if I was gonna translate that to writing if I go to write right now as soon as I put the pen down it's gonna write the instant my hand makes the motion, the pen is also going to make the motion and it's going to write some ink all over my hand. <laughs> if I am playing with the thin pick, but I want to play some of that fast stuff, I'm going to uh, go ahead and write and my hand is going to make the motion, but the pick is, uh, the, uh, the glue stick here, the floppy pen is going to be a little bit later. It's going to write after what I've picked because it, it has that flex. So my hand moves and then the pen moves along. That's on a really micro scale, I guess you could say. I could still write with this, I'm sure. But when it's uh, fast notes going by and you wanna play a bunch of notes, then if you're trying to go, uh, you know, back and, back and forth a whole bunch and the, the uh, you know, the floppy pick is not keeping up with you, then you probably would have something like this going on. Um, on your string, let's just say, here, my hand is now a string, let's see what this works. So you kind of have this delay, oh, I've already picked in my head, my thought is complete, but the pick is still catching up. And then I go to play another note, boom, the note's done in my head, and I'm on to the next note in thought, but the pick is still catching up, so it's this delayed, sloppy thing going on here. If you've got the thick pick, thick pen, and you're writing, as soon as I play, it's just gonna plow through that note at the same thought, you know, the, <laughs> the information has to go all the way down to there and get there on time. So I think if you just want every advantage possible, go with the thick pick for playing the fast stuff, as thick as you wanna try, but uh, you know, 1.5 to two seems good for me. I know some others were talking about uh, that range of picks. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, like the, the, you know, the thought goes and then the note plays with your hand, but, Physically, if, if the pick hasn't caught up to that thought yet, you know, it's going to be a little bit late. And uh, then you're on to the next note and you get this uh, sloppiness going on. It's almost like musician in a way that uh, when when musician has really fast notes, like 30 second notes, it doesn't always keep up. It sometimes gets a little bit uh, confused. It's, it almost could be the same thought with your pick. Your thin pick might just be getting <laughs> confused. It's like, oh, I'm already on to the next note. I haven't finished playing this note. And uh, whereas your other soldier, your thick pick is just gonna fire away right with your thought. So that's just my theory on it. It's a little bit of jibber jabber, but I was trying to think about it when I saw a bunch of people talking about it. And so yeah, if anyone else has some feedback on that topic, then uh, feel free to uh, chime in and tell us your thoughts. Um, on one last note, my favorite pick to use is not in my pocket. I like these, uh, you, you can't really see the whole thing here, but this is a Dunlop, uh, actually, yeah, I really like these. This is a Dunlop uh, 1.5. It's got the alligator on it. The Dunlop picks are uh, color coded. So if Dunlop green, green is always 1.5. I like the black one too, which is 2.0. Uh, but there's different colors and you can go check them out. They're very smooth on the edge and they don't have any kind of catchy sound. Like you don't hear your pick so much. I don't really like the pick sound. You just hear your notes. And then sometimes I'll just take uh, a knife or something. This is now a knife, by the way, this, this pen. 
and I'll just do a little X on each side of it so I have like a little bit of a grip in case I've got some slippy fingers going. Anyway, enjoy yourselves and uh, pick fast. Have a good day. Hey everyone, 